Well, hello friends, it's Amy Frilici with the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio, and today I have a beautiful card to share with you. Can you see all of the shimmer and sparkle and glimmeriness on this card? Oh my goodness, it was uh, pretty uh, closely um, cased, I guess I would say, after a card that's Stampin' Up! design that features a bunch of product from, it's called the Snowflake Showcase Suite of Products. That's kind of a tongue twister. Um, but in particular, I used this stamp set called the Snow is Glistening stamp set. Now, this is a stamp set and the others that I'll show you are, these are all products that are not um, available through the holiday catalog. They are a limited time only kind of edition of stamps and framelits. Um, there's some white velvet paper and then some other, um, I think, what are they called? I have to look at my little list here. They are called the Snowflake Trinkets. Um, today, I in particular use the Snow, and Glistening, Snow is Glistening stamp set. So you can see we've got a bunch of beautiful um, snowflake images, that gorgeous uh, Christmas tree, another snowflake. This says for you, here's some kind of um, backgrounds. Um, this, if, if you can see the sentiment, it says, sending a blizzard of wishes for a wonderful season another one here says each snowflake is beautiful sparkly and special just like you some more snowflakes a joy that's the little base of the tree another little snowflake and then last is merry christmas to you and peace on earth to all the world so this is just a beautiful oh my gosh i love this stamp set and then the coordinating framelits I already pulled out the ones that we're gonna use today. Um, so this is kind of what's left. There is, um, that is obviously a snowflake. This could be a snowflake or the flowers too. And there's another stamp set called Happiness Surrounds that these um, framelits also work really well with. So that's a few of them. And then here are some more. Can you guys see? Oh my goodness, look at that. Gorgeous, that is huge, that snowflake. And then some other flowers and snowflakes and leaves and outlines that could be snowflakes or flowers. So that's the kind of neat thing about this um, suite of products is there's um, kind of a, like a wintry scene in um, that snow is glistening stamp set. But then there are also some really nice kind of spring summery um images that are in the happiness surround stamp set that also will be available. I don't know if I said that yet or not, but all of these things will be available beginning November 1 to customers. If you cannot wait until November 1, if you buy the starter kit, you can get these products in the starter kit as well. And I'll include all the item codes for everything um, that we used on this card and then the other items that are in that Snowflake Showcase suite as well. Okay, so those and then these actually they're all kind of a hodgepodge, but these are all of the framelits. I'm going to kind of pour these out. These are all of the framelits that we are going to use today. Oops, that's got a little, they always stick, right? Because they, the, the adhesive they put on, <laughs> yeah, this is the perfect example. I laid that on there. Oh, it's ripping it. Well, yeah, so the adhesive they put on here is super sticky. And then sometimes it kind of transfers onto the framelits as well. But Okay, we'll scoot those out of the way. But can you see, so we're going to use this framelit right here. Actually, it goes like that for that image. And then a bunch of other snowflakes. These are gonna be even more meaningful, I think, once oop, we get them on our card. But oh my gosh, so many good ones. So we'll just scoot those out of the way and we're gonna start on our card, okay? And then we'll do our die cutting and you'll be able to see those a little bit better then too. Okay, so we are using, this is a color I have not used too much yet. The um, It's called Balmy Blue. I was gonna say Bashful Blue, but that's not it. So here, this is our Balmy Blue card base that measures, well, our cardstock, right? Our piece of cardstock measures the eight and a half by 11. We cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it in half at four and a quarter to make our nice crisp fold as always on our card, okay? So that's step one. Then we have a piece of vellum cardstock. We're gonna do something fun with this one. This piece measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then we just have a strip of sparkle glimmer paper and then another strip of the balmy blue cardstock that we're gonna to use to do all of our die cutting. And then last we have just a little strip 
This is a three quarter inch wide by four inches. That's the little strip of Whisper White that we're gonna do our stamping for our sentiment on there. So while I'm thinking about it, let's just go ahead and do this little bit first. So with our um, banner triple punch, we're just gonna punch that guy right there. And then I'm gonna grab my balmy blue ink with my sentiment that says, sending a blizzard of wishes for a wonderful season. So nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We are going to press straight down and lift straight up. And that looks good. I was going to say, if it doesn't work out well, you can always flip it over and try it on the other side. But I think that is good for today. Okay. Now, this is the other fun thing I want to show you guys. So I'm going to grab a little scrap piece of paper because I added... Uh, some kind of shimmeriness too. I don't know if you can see that in the right light. Hopefully you can kind of see I used on my vellum cardstock. I used a little bit of this champagne mist is the color shimmer paint. So you just kind of can you hear there's a little ball in there that kind of helps uh, just keep it all <clears throat> shaken up really well or when you when you shake it so all i'm going to do is grab a little sponge dauber i'm going to put it actually i'm going to put it on this finger because it holds on there a little bit better and i'm just going to pick up a little bit of ink and i've got that little scrap piece underneath there just so i don't get this shimmer paint all over my work surface and then every once in a while you have to kind of tip this back over to get a little bit more. I'm just too afraid to dip that hole. I don't even know if I could get it in there, honestly. I guess I might be able to get a little bit right there. I don't know that it would even fit, to be really honest with you, but I don't wanna put my whole sponge dauber inside that uh, little paint jar. <laughs> I think that could be a problem. So we are just, and you can see it does kind of curl my vellum just a little bit. Sorry, I don't know if that's kind of shaking things. Um, I feel like maybe that mount is a little bit loose, which of course I didn't realize that until we started the video. Um, so we're just going to kind of keep swirling this all around so we get it fully covered. So it just creates kind of a shimmery background. And we're going to just kind of set this aside and let it dry. And it did not take very long to dry, I will tell you that too. Um, but let's we're going to scoot this right over here, and we'll bring that back in a few minutes. Let's go ahead and do our die cutting now. So we've got the Big Shot with our magnetic platform. Okay, I'm gonna grab my silver, oops, my silver glimmer paper. Actually, we could probably go this way, couldn't we? Let's do that, we're gonna crank this guy out of here. Okay, so we've got one clear cutting pad underneath and one on top. We are gonna lay our paper right on here. And I have to take a peek at my card to make sure I cut the right things out of the right cardstock. So this big flourish, I know this one comes out of my balmy blue cardstock. I know that my big snowflake comes out of my silver sparkle. And then actually kind of a medium sized snowflake. And what else do we have? It probably doesn't really matter. We could change it up a little bit, but let's see. Um, so this one I think looks a little bit more like a flower, but I think it can look like a, um, a snowflake as well and then let's see I think that little guy went over there so then these two framelits we're gonna put on our silver sparkle paper can you guys see all those so and there are still you guys saw all of the other framelits that we still have in that framelit suite I think it's a thinlet set what's it called the snowfall thinlets dies so there are how many does it say 20 different dies in there Okay, sorry, that is seriously wiggling. Okay, turn your heads away for a sec because I'm gonna crank this back and forth. I wanna make sure this die cuts really well. So that's kind of one of the tricks is just kind of crank it back and forth a few times. Okay, wiggling is done. <laughs> sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching. Okay, so we're gonna pop these things off of here. All right, and let's pop these guys out too. These we might have to. You never know if they stick into the paper or if they stick in the framelits. It kind of depends. Ooh, that one's gonna come out pretty nicely there. So we might have to do a little bit of work to get some of those things out, but that's okay. Let's see, there's that little guy, and then there's that one. You can see how easy they pop right out too. That's what's pretty handy. And you do wanna be a little bit careful. This little guy, he's got lots of detail to him. 
Sorry. I'm trying to not be right on top of that handle, but then that makes it a little bit harder for you guys to see probably. Hmm? Okay, I'm gonna scoot these off of here. We might have to do a little bit of work with our Big Shot die brush just to make sure that we get all the little pieces out. So let's see what we've got. We're gonna use this one first, and this will help us kind of pop these things right out, right? Okay, and then maybe we need our little paper piercing tool too. There might be an occasional one. Well, maybe more than an occasional now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> and you know what? I'll, I'll show you a trick. Do you see? It's almost easier to flip it over. I probably, so because that's wiggling a little bit, I'm not using my Big Shot die brush with quite as much verve as I might otherwise. I'm afraid it's going to make the camera even more wiggly. So normally you could probably pop more of these out with your Big Shot die brush. Okay, it's almost easier to turn it over. I can see I've got a couple that I, I think I kind of poke them out, but then they flop back, it looks like. Okay, so there's one. These are worth it too, ladies, if you're thinking, oh, that's kind of a bit of work. Um, once you get this card all put together, I mean, I don't know, you know, depending on your patience level, you might not want to make a ton of these cards, but I think a couple, definitely worth it. Okay, so we've got that one, we've got that one, we've got that one. I gotta pick these things up to see what's still got a, <laughs> still has paper inside of them. It's almost the easiest way. Okay, we've got another snowflake right here, but can you see how beautiful and shimmery and shiny? I love, we're gonna have to try the um, white velvet paper next. See, that one's done, that one's done. Okay, I think we've got them all out of here. So I'm gonna scoot these guys out of the way. But here we go, we've got a couple more. Actually, that looks pretty good. We've gotta get, just get those little um, points out of there. One more. We're almost there, ladies. And then we can put everything together, I believe. Okay, one more little bit there. I have to show you guys these though. So look, check out all of the sparkliness here, okay? Because you kind of lose some of the detail. So that, that's the silver sparkle paper, those three snowflakes. And then we've got this guy and this one. And I thought there was one more. Where did he go? He probably flitted around somewhere. Oh, nope, I've made it out of silver too. Yeah, there we go. So look at all those, just gorgeous, right? Okay, swiping all this stuff out of the way. We don't need any of that anymore, okay? All right, now I think we can, and what I, what I decided, normally I like to kind of put adhesive, um, you know, behind these points here, which I definitely did more of, but it's okay with this kind of um, shimmeriness on here. I felt it really kind of hid the adhesive, and you do need to run a good bit of adhesive all around the edges of this cardstock, or the vellum, I guess I should say. Because it has rolled a little bit, you wanna make sure it stays down on there really, really well. Okay, so we are gonna lay this down on here and hope that I get it where I want it because that already stuck a bit, okay? So there's that, and oh my goodness, can you believe right in the middle of filming this video, I have run out of my um, snail adhesive. I'm trying to see if I brought anything else over here. I'm gonna run and grab some more adhesive. It's right in my craft room right around the corner. I will be back in one sec, and then we will put the rest of this project together. So give me one sec, ladies. Of course that had to happen, right? my goodness. So if you have bought um, snail adhesive and maybe are a little bit weary or wary of how to um, replace it, let me show you. So a little impromptu um, extra training. So there are little um, arrows on the bottom and the top of the snail and you just push those together and then that pops out. Okay. Then basically take that little guard, that little yellow guard off of there and then just 
pop that back together. So it's super, super simple to replace um, your snail cartridge. Okay, so what I like to do is with my silicone craft sheet, you can use um, your fine tip glue pen, but believe it or not, I tend to not have as much patience as I need for that. So I am just gonna use my silicone craft sheet and I'm gonna kind of lightly, I don't wanna get too much adhesive, but can you see I'm just making kind of quick flicks around the corners and edges of all of my pieces here. Sorry, that is really wiggling, isn't it? Oops. Put that one there, right? And then we've got this guy here. And then one more. Do that and that and that and that. That is sticking. I got to move him out of the way, right? <laughs> so ladies, not perfection at all here today by far. Um, but that, you know what? That's kind of how it goes sometimes, right? It's not, life's not always perfect. Stamping's not always perfect, but you guys are getting the idea anyway, right? Okay, so we're gonna, <laughs> and then here, look, I've got one on my, on my finger. Oh, well, okay. So we're gonna lay this flourish down, maybe, right? Actually, I wanna go this way, don't I? Um, we're gonna lay this guy maybe right about there. So we can see that we're just gonna press to kind of put that all down on there. Then I've got my little silver sparkly snowflake right there. And then we're just gonna kind of layer this guy over top of that one right there. Where did my sentiment go? I wanna kind of try to place this. So this is gonna go there. There's gonna be some ribbon. I'm gonna maybe, mm, let's see, we're gonna put this one kind of poking out of the top maybe right about there. And then we've got this other silver. We're gonna pop him down there. And then one more silver, maybe right about there. So you can see how no two of these cards are gonna look alike. They're all gonna be a little bit different. You know what I think? I want this thing to go up a little bit further if I didn't press too hard. Let's see if I can get him off. Okay, that's kind of the nice part about working with the vellum. Um, I think it's a little bit more forgiving than our regular cardstock. Actually, let's not do that yet. Here is my, I thought, oh my gosh, if I forgot my ribbon too, I will start this video over. <laughs> Cause that's, you can't forget two things in a video. One is okay, but two, not good. Okay, so we're just gonna cut kind of a strip of, this is the um, textured weave ribbon in the gray granite. So can you see all of the beautiful texture that's on that? I love that ribbon. Now this one, again, I am gonna put maybe right about here. And I generally, because it's just a strip, it's the only way that we can do this, but I, I don't generally like to um, put adhesive to, to make my ribbon stick down like that. I like to kind of um, tack it around the back, but because we're not doing that in this case, that's the only way that we can do this. Um, then we are going to grab a couple of dimensionals and we're going to put them on the back of our sentiment here. And that didn't, you know how every once in a while when you peel the dimensional off, it takes like a little bit of the sheet that it's sitting on. That's what happened there. Okay, so we're going to peel those off and pop these on here. Okay, that can go maybe right about there, right? And then last step, look at, oh my gosh, I love all of the sparkliness on this card. It is beautiful, isn't it? Okay, now I just want to make a little bow with my white baker's twine. And we're gonna pop this right next to our sentiment and we have our first card made with this snow is glistening stamp set. Okay, so my trick with the um, twine, cause it's so thin, I just run a little teeny tiny bit and actually that worked really well. Generally it might make a little bit of a strip and then I kind of use my finger to push it into a line, but that kind of came out in a perfect little line right there for me. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just trim this end off a little bit and there we go. So what do you guys think? Isn't that beautiful? Look at. Oh, all the sparkly shimmeriness, and then those gorgeous, oh, I love all that silver, right? 
So beautiful card. I hope that you enjoyed this card, even with all of my craziness today. I thank you so much for watching. Um, let's see, what else do I want to tell you guys about? Make sure you check out my blog at Gathering Inspiration with a K, inspiration.com. I always have lots of project ideas and tutorials and things on there. This video will be uploaded right on there as well. Um, if you are interested in shopping for any of the products that we use to make this card, you can shop at my Stampin' Up! website at amysuzanne.stampinup.net anytime. I will also tell you that we are doing weekly Facebook Live videos on the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. So check those out. It's every Friday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. If you can't catch it live, I upload the recordings here to YouTube. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you'll always know about my regular tutorial videos and the Facebook Live videos. And I always offer, when you put that online order in, you get the projects that I demonstrate on Facebook Live, as well as there's a drawing that your name gets entered to into every single week to win a free product. So check that out. It's new every single week, new projects, new giveaways. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope you were inspired today and I hope you have a great day. Bye everybody.